Hi! Today is tutorial time and I'm going to show you how you can build your own PCBs, your printed circuit boards at home. And I'm going to show you how to do it with the photo transfer method. And the first thing that you are going to need is a blank PCB. In this case I'm going to use a double sided uh, PCB. And this one is prepared for, you know, for the photo transfer method. It has a, a photosensitive film over the PCB in both sides, so you can transfer your design to the PCB and then etching it, remove the cooper and just uh, leave the board with your circuit. And to do so, you will need to print your top layer and or bottom layer uh, to a transparent, transparent film like this one. Uh, these are my PCBs that I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, five PCBs in, at once in you know in one <laughs> in one in one try. And I recommend you to to print this film two times because this black uh, ink is not very opaque, opaque or whatever. And if you print twice and you superimpose them you get a, a very better result. Next, uh, I'm going to expose my PCB to, to a light with the film over it and with a piece of glass, a big piece of glass over it. After some time, uh, the PCB will be ready, ready and I will develop it and etching it and all that stuff. So. Let's begin. Hi, so I'm here and I'm going to show you how to prepare the exposure. So this is the the PCB, the blank PCB that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to take this out. And because I'm just going to use uh, one side of the board, I'm going to left that side with the black thing over it, put it there this way and then put the transparent film over the PCB this way and then this big piece of glass and check that all is okay. okay it seems pretty good and this is the the board, the lamp that I'm going to use a 60 watt incandescent lamp nothing unusual and I'm going to put this right over this okay that's that's just okay and turn it on and 10 minutes from now okay now while the PCB is on exposure I'm going to mix uh, 4 grams of uh, sodium hydroxide with uh, 250 millimeters of water and that will be my developer for the PCB Four grams. Okay. Nice. I'm just going to put the water here and mix it with less water. And it gets a little bit hot. Okay. Nice. Now in this another tray I'm going to put uh, water and in the other 
the other is for the next uh, process, the etching process, and you will see that in a few minutes. Just waiting for the board to to finish the exposure. Okay, the board is ready. Okay, now uh, apparently nothing has changed in, in this board, but as you will see in a while, crocodile. And I'm going to to clean the wall a little bit in the water tray. have the board. I'm going to clean it a little bit with just a tissue. Okay, so this is water so there, there is no problem with touching it. Okay. I'm going to use the other uh, part of the board as a ground plane. That is why I didn't isolate uh, expose it, that part and I'm just going to clean this okay and put it somewhere over here while I mix a part of water and more or less two parts of this acid this is sulfuman I don't know how do you call this in other parts of the world but it's a 20% concentration of uh, chlorhydric acid acid and now this is uh, hydrogen peroxide and I'm just going to add a part of that Here is the board finished. It will need some corrections over there, but it's it's done. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is the result. It's pretty nice. It will need some some cut here and some cut there, but it's everything is is fine so thank you very much for watching